Marston, sir, it's good to see you, Old Bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall. Mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir. I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlind and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir! Where the devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, it's all making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. I have to say, the touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. But your mastery of basic English and... The bear! Shoot it! Shoot it! I... Up. My goodness, I'm still shaking! What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. I, sir! This is it! Easy! Yeah! Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke up the pipe. Gentlemen, we come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I am... But, but I... But violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlyn will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Do as he says, Washington. You call this a meeting? Excuse me? No damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, shit! Damn, out of touch! Professor, get down, now! You killed the stars! This is a nightmare! Do something uh, quick! Stay down and keep watch! Uh, Outlaws! I've seen tougher characters! What 
Whatever you do, please oh. don't leave me in here! Right. Let's go now while we got the chance. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's get back to Blackwater. Ah! We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is in. Oh my god, they're bad! Do something, Boston! You're making a big mistake, friend! Come on! I can say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. 